Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Thursday, September the 12th, 2024, and this is episode 4407. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, The Palms of My Hands. Stay tuned. The palms of my hands. Oh, listen to this incredible short verse in Isaiah 49, verse 16. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. This scripture beautifully describes how important God's children are to him. Perhaps because we know the dark thoughts and sinful acts of omission and commission that pass through our lives, we expect him to reject us out of hand. But when we read a verse like this, we must ask ourselves, Would a disinterested deity talk about mankind as God Almighty does here? Some take this verse to refer to Exodus 13.9, while others suggest there was a Jewish custom of puncturing one hands as a sign of devotion, which would leave a scar that symbolized Israel and the temple. Whatever the correct reference, it is clear that our Heavenly Father is saying, I can't forget you because I have engraved and imprinted you on my palms. Just how did God carve our names into his hands? (laughs) Certainly there is a beautiful literal Fulfillment of this in the nail-scarred hands of Jesus. Jesus told Doubting Thomas in John 20, 27 to look at his scarred hands as a proof of his resurrection. We understand from Scripture that those scars will remain through eternity. When we consider this, we cannot help but see that God the Son has deeply committed to never forgetting us, his people. Perhaps we can also see something of this in the story of the thief on the cross when he called out to Jesus to remember him. Jesus' response was immediate and powerful. Today you will be with me in paradise. So, see, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Father, thank you so much that you have inscribed us on the palms of your hands. Thank you, Father, for your love, your grace, and your mercy for us. Help us to trust you, to lean into you today, to not give in to the devil's condemnation in our hearts and our minds. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Thursday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.